Hello everyone, iSchool Tech here. Now, we are gonna be taking a look at how the iPhone 7 has held up on the latest developer beta of iOS 14, iOS 14 developer beta 5. Now, before we get into the video, as always, if you do happen to be new to the channel, definitely make sure hit that subscribe button with notifications enabled to stay up to date with content just like this. Every subscriber truly does mean a ton. Anyways, let's get straight into the video. Now, iOS 14 Developer Beta 5 released earlier this week, surprising many with its very large file size. This update came in at 1.32 gigabytes for my iPhone 7, which is a much bigger file size than that of Beta 2, Beta 3, or Beta 4. Now, Beta 5 brings many tweaks and bug fixes, as well as the new surround sound feature for AirPods Pro users. Sadly, we did not see the new wallpaper UI that was leaked a while back and was said to come in Beta 5 by credible leakers such as iHack2, but I haven't lost hope just yet. Apple has in fact touched the wallpaper menu by adjusting the size of the wallpaper options in each category, and they've even done something to cause a bug with iPadOS 14 Beta 5 where the stills category will be missing entirely. Now, these small changes to the wallpaper UI may be very small, but it wasn't really necessary to begin with. Now, exactly like with the iPhone SE, performance while running iOS 14 Developer Beta 5 on the iPhone 7 has been incredible. Just like Beta 4, apps launch very quickly and web pages load up fast. I've had no issues in terms of general performance while running iOS 14 Beta 5 on my iPhone 7. Now, RAM management has been fine as well. I haven't been experiencing many reloads and I'm really able to keep apps open for a good amount of time. This is very good news, especially considering that the iPhone 7 has 2GB of RAM versus 3 and 4GB of RAM on newer iPhones. Animations have been perfect. Animations such as swiping to access the notification and control centers, opening and closing apps, closing apps with the multitasking screen, etc. have all been perfectly smooth. While I have heard that some users are experiencing stuttering and freezing within the app library, I have not experienced this personally, but I thought it was worth noting. And I am very happy to report that the missing unlock animation issue seems to have been fixed with Beta 5 of iOS 14. I have not come across this issue at all since updating. Now before we get into battery, I should take a second to mention that my maximum battery capacity is 92% and my iPhone 7 has never had a restart. Now battery life on my iPhone 7 while running iOS 14 developer beta 5 has actually been great. Just like iOS 14 beta 4, I have not noticed any significant drain, if any, on my iPhone 7 while running beta 5. Ironically, the iPhone 7 is the only iPhone that I have not had any battery issues with on beta 4 or beta 5. Now standby time has been perfect. I've only noticed an incredibly small drain of just about 2% overnight, just like on beta 4. This is amazing and I really hope it stays this way. Now, of course, there is still some overheating with Beta 5, but it's not too bad. In my experience, the iPhone does not get too hot too often. Now, of course, for the main question, should you update? Well, my answer is pretty simple. If you're on any earlier version of iOS and you're not comfortable installing Beta firmware, then don't update. If you're on an earlier version of iOS and you are okay with installing Beta firmware or you're on an earlier Beta of iOS 14, I'd say there's really no reason not to go ahead and update. Now overall, iOS 14 Beta 5 has been a very stable release, with the worst issues really being slight overheating, an occasional app library stutter for some, and a system services freeze. Now as always, if you do have any questions or you just want to say hi, definitely make sure to leave a comment down below. Alright everyone, that is all I have for this video, and if you did enjoy the video or found it helpful in any way, show me by leaving a like, and if you are new to the channel, definitely make sure to hit that subscribe button, every subscriber truly does mean a lot, it's very appreciated. Make sure to follow me on Twitter, and check out the iSchool Tech official Discord, links for both will be in the description down below as always. I'll see you guys in the next one, thank you all for watching.